Yeah, well, welcome to the Bugwick Historical Microcomputer Museum here in Floyd, Virginia. This is one of my favorite computers here in the museum. It's the Mark 8. It's my favorite computer because it was designed by my colleague John Titus, and we worked together during the late 70s and early 80s. And uh, John designed his computer, the Mark 8, while he was a graduate student at Virginia Tech in the same department that I taught in for 33 years. We were talking about John Titus's computers. As a Blacksburg group, John designed several teaching computers, or development computers, training computers. <clears throat> this is one based on the 8080. This is another one of John's designs. This was the first effort of the Blacksburg Group, and John Titus was the designer of this computer. We were thinking many computers at the time. This is based on the 8080 microprocessor, so it was designed with switches and lights, just like a regular mini computer. Turned out that wasn't really the way to go for microcomputers. It had multiple cards, was a bit expensive, and it brought out all the signals so you could interface to the computer to other devices. And uh, we sold a number of these through e l Instruments. Well, after the Mark 80 computer, which was a little expensive, it had a lot of cards, we decided it would be better to have a single board computer. And John designed this <clears throat> MMD1 computer based on the 8080. And it was given uh, credit as being the first single board computer, I mean a total computer with an input keyboard, light output, memory, in other words, a self-contained operating computer. So this is one of the 10 prototypes that was built, and we are just delighted to have one of them here in our museum. I mentioned uh, John Titus's Mark 8, and this is, this is a Mark 8 here. We talked about uh, just the raw boards, not in a case. I mentioned it was in the Smithsonian. This computer you see in front of you here is an exact copy of the Mark 8 that's in the Smithsonian. It's an exact copy with switches, lights, the whole thing, exact copy. And this was made by Ray Justice uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, Ray was a student of mine. 